It's the Rolex Hall of Fame enshrinement weekend here at the International Tennis Hall of Fame. I'm with Kim Kleisters, who's an inductee this year. And Kim, you just got to check out your exhibit for the first time. Tell me, tell me what you think. It looks pretty good, right? It looks really, really <laughs> nice. Um, it's nice to kind of see all these special moments together because when I have them at the house, they're kind of spread over a little bit, so, but it's nice to see them all together. Yeah, so now that the weekend is here, the Hall of Fame induction is hitting you. How are you feeling about everything? Uh, very special. Um, obviously, you know, we've, we've known for a long time that we're going to be inducted um, into the Hall of Fame, but it's, it's, it almost only hits you when you actually get here and you get to you feel for how unique and special this place is. And, and just to kind of relive, you know, the history of, of our sport, you know, through by walking through the museum and, and by talking to so many people who've, who've worked, you know, on, on this event for so many years. And um, it's, uh, it's very special. I feel very honored. So I loved earlier, Kim had Jada, who's now nine years old, and she was checking herself out <laughs> here, right? Seeing yeah. that picture of her. Yeah, and she actually <laughs> doesn't remember it, you know. She doesn't. No, she doesn't. But she looks at pictures and videos once in a while. And, um, and so she remembers it through those kind of, uh, you know, situations. And um, so f it's nice for me to sh be able to share this with them. And, um, and um, because now, you know, I'm home and, you know, my husband is the one who's, you know, r involved in basketball and we, we take, we go and support him. And um, so it's nice for them to kind of see this and, and uh, yeah, kind of know yeah. that mommy has a spot here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So some really cool stuff in the exhibit itself, your 2010 SB your US Open trophy from 2005, that was your first. Yeah. That was your 2010 Australian Open outfit. Yeah. And then I love these little vials that have pieces of different courts that were memorable in your career too, y right? Yes, um, like moments, big moments in my career. It's, yeah. um, the book is made out of a hard court, so it's the cover of the book. It's is it? The, yeah, US Open kind of surface. Um, and um, and then every all the little bottles have like a special you know, meaning. Some of them are from, you know, the clay court that we had at my house growing up. Uh, some have a little grass from Wimbledon that we took out, a little patch when the tournament was finished. And uh, um, just, a, yeah, just little things to me that were very special. Is that stuff, I mean, the vials I think are so cool. Is that stuff that you collected as your career was going or you went back and... We went got, back. We went did. back. I mean, I had some, obviously, I had you know, some outfits, there's my last outfit is in there, so I obviously saved that. There's a tennis ball, we have a little diamond from when I played in Antwerp, because playing in Antwerp to me was a very special place. And so just little things, a few little things, the, the tree, my favorite tree um, in the world is this um, sleeping willow that we had uh, at home. So we took a little piece off the, the barge, awesome. is that how you call it? So yeah. just all very special um, places from my childhood to, you know, when I stopped playing tennis. So yeah. they're all in there. Hmm. I love this moment, obviously, from the 2005 U.S. Open, and then I think this one's from 2010, maybe, climbing into the stands. Yeah. Are those things, when you see the actual moment sort of stood still in time, do the memories come back, or how does that work for you? They do. Um, well, and then, you know, it's weird. Like, when you win a Grand Slam, you my first feeling is that I want to share it with my team, you know, and you yeah. kind of stand there by yourself, and, and <laughs> you're happy and, pr and proud, but you want to share it with your team. And, um, and that's why I, could, you know, I couldn't wait until the ceremony was finished. Like I wanted to be there and hug you know, my family and, and whoever was there to support me. So um, that's kind of why I crawled up into the stands a couple of times. Yeah, and the, the outfit from the Australian Open in, in 2000, what's it say? Let's see. 2011, yeah, 2011, lean on the final. Yeah. yeah, so to me it was, it was very special because you know, Fila made this outfit back to uh, Yvonne Gulagong Ward and she was a, Grand Slam winner after you know she had a baby and so they kind of remade the outfit and uh, I was very honored and proud that I was able to wear that in Australia and then to win in it as well was was very yeah. unique and so it was a special one for me. Well and I think you were the first mom since Yvonne Gulagong yeah. had won when she was yeah. a mother too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's it, that's why like these things like the history in our sport to me means a lot and to be able to, to be a part of it but then also still respect our past champions is, is awesome. Right. All right, well, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. This is going to be a very special weekend, I think, for you and a lot of tennis thank fans. Thank you out very there. much.